So guys, it's TBO, and in this video, we are reacting to the Mulan remake trailer. It was released two days ago, but um, I haven't reacted to it yet because um, I don't really care. But someone asked me to react to it, so let's see what comes of this. Now, it's been a few um, very eventful days for Disney with the tragic passing of Cameron Boyce, with the ongoing raging debate about Ariel being black. Um, that controversial casting choice and now with the Milan remake um, trailer so well things are looking lively before Disney in the foreseeable future but let's get into this okay let's go Excellent news! The matchmaker has found you an auspicious match. It is decided. I have a confession to make. I honestly don't remember an awful lot about the original Mulan. Because obviously that was years back. So a lot of this is juggles to me. A lot. Come and sit down. It is what is best for our family. What I do remember about Milan is that she wanted to be a female warrior or something like that. Oh, no. See, yeah, uh, I don't know, I can't remember. Yes, I will bring honor to us all. Quiet. She looks like the queen from uh, what's that thing called? Um, Alice in the Wonderland. Composed. Graceful. Disciplined. These are the qualities we see in a good wife. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, okay, wow. It's, it's actually actually looking good these are the qualities we see in Mola it is my duty to fight is it really I swear wasn't she like an empress's daughter or something spring 2020 so that's next year Okay, wow, this is... Wow. Yo, the trailer actually looked decent, I have to be honest, it actually, actually did. Um, look at least... Um, like a decent movie, so... However, I think pe people are going to get very tired of Disney just remaking everything. Like, they need to come up with new things. They're basically just banking on people's nostalgia at this point knowing that if they remake their old movies that people loved into live action people will go into theaters to see them that's all they're doing they disney absolutely spent they don't have any ideas anymore that's the truth of the matter yeah but it looked decent a few things i don't understand one um from what i remember in the actual mulan she was in the old first disney's mulan she was uh what's it like emperor's daughter or something almost like a princess kinda and then they kind of just wanted to marry her off to find a suitable king or something like that almost very similar to Jasmine or maybe I'm mixing them up I don't know I'm not that knowledgeable in the Disney kind of area but that's what I do remember and in this one she's kind of like oh it's my duties to protect the people blah so I don't know it looks like this remake is kind of going a different route in fact if what I would say is from my knowledge i kind of think there was an old mulan like legend that disney tried to make their first movie based off but they kind of went wayward so this remake is kind of following the legend a bit more that's what i think that's what i think two in the original mulan i remember there being this like little dragon kind of thing he was probably like my favorite character in the whole thing honestly 
and he was nowhere to be found. I haven't seen. Him. Therefore, uh, but yeah, if they are um, making it a bit more like the original Mulan legend, and it would make sense why they have to take the dragon out because they're trying to make it like a bit more realistic and everything. Yo, yo, yo I hear something. I, I'm hearing something. It sounds like. <laughs> The tea is specially hot today. <sighs> so basically, if you've been following football, the Women's World Cup came to a conclusion on Sunday. The USA won again. And uh, the top scorer of the whole thing, who won the Golden Boot, her name is Megan Rapinoe. She was invited to the White House. And she turned it down. Trump has been aired by so many people. She just stopped inviting people to the White House. <laughs> like, it's clear enough that no one wants to see you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and to make the tea just a little bit more delicious, the US women's team are playing with a points to prove because the US men's team, which is crap, <laughs> except for Christian Pulisic, earn more than them and yet haven't ever won an international tournament compared to the US women's team who just finished winning their fourth World Cup. And as recent as last night, Megan Rapinoe went on national television to explain exactly her feelings towards Trump. Chance the president is watching this interview or will watch this interview. What, what is your message to you? Oh, message to the president. Um... I think that I would say that your message is excluding people. Um, you're excluding me, you're excluding people that look like me, you're excluding people of color, you're excluding you know, Americans that, um, that maybe support you. Um, I think that we need to have um, a reckoning with um, the message that you have and what you're saying about make America great again. Um, I think that you're harking back to an era that was not great for everyone. It might have been great for a few people. and. Maybe America is great for a few people right now, but it's not great for enough Americans in this world. And I think that we have a responsibility, each and every one of us. You have an incredible responsibility as you know the chief of this country um, to take care of every single person, and you need to do better for everyone. Yo, but imagine the frustration of the U.S. national women's team. Honestly, they're basically the best national um, women's team in the world. They've won four World Cups, and yet they're getting less pay than the men. While the men's national team is... Well... Oh my god! Just not that good. So yeah, it actually doesn't make sense. The US FA, if they even have one, <laughs> should certainly do something about it and Megan Rapinoe's um, sentiments <laughs> on Trump certainly show that there's a slight issue there. The fact that the rest of her teammates agree with her as well, uh, yeah, I mean, if nothing is done about that, then that's definitely going to raise a sexist claim, more of one that already exists. But yeah, thanks for watching. Look out for my daily videos. I'm gonna keep coming and keep coming and keep coming. Uh, thanks for all the support I've received. The support has been massive. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. I promise, we're coming up. We're coming up. Uh, yeah, that's it. Take it easy and safe. These shoes are from Christian Dior. Yeah, huh? I'm not a kid anymore.